<laughs> oh, there we go. Hi guys. We are very comfy here today. We've been working hard in our basement for the last couple of days. It's very exciting because we have Tiffany and Matt Topi here with us today. And they are officially with the XP. Mm -hmm. So exciting. <laughs> they are they are a badass husband and wife real estate team from Arizona, originally from Michigan. And that's how Tiffany and I met, mm -hmm. um, actually through Instagram, because mm -hmm. how do I meet anybody? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I meet everybody through Instagram. <laughs> so actually, why don't you tell it from your side how this started three years ago? One of my girlfriends was just like, hey, you need to get on social media and kind of watch some of these other realtors. And she said, I saw this one girl, this crazy ex. <laughs> 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 you need to check her out. So I did. And then I told all my friends, I'm like, you got to follow this go-go girl. And, and then I, I just stalked you for a while. And then I was coming home for a funeral again, like to now. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I said, I'm going to reach out and see if she wants to have coffee. And then Dwayne, that was when he just left his job and you brought him with you. Yep. Yeah. And we Spoon. chatted and we, then we had so much fun Starbucks. chatting at Starbucks, we went to yeah. lunch. Oh, we went to Wooden Spoon? Oh, that's right. Yeah. That yep. yeah. That's right. So, yeah, so that, guys, was almost three years ago. That was literally as I got licensed, or so I got licensed, as I got my business over to EXP when we met. So we stayed friends, you know, just kind of industry yeah. friends, real estate and follow up with each other periodically. Um, and then fast forward three years now, I am so proud to say that we have business partners. Yeah. Okay. And because of Instagram again. Because of Instagram. I was, yeah, well, I was on Instagram stories and I saw her story and I saw in the background, I'm like, God, that place looks familiar where she is. It looks like, so I messaged her and said, where the heck are you? And she says, Arizona. I said, I'll bring Matt and you can tell him about it. <laughs> and the rest is And then once you hear it or see it, you can unsee it. Yeah. Well, that morning I actually got a call from an EXP agent. And then she said, we we're going to meet you. And I was like, this is just too much. <laughs> yeah, like, this is meant too to be. Too many signs yeah. on the same day. Yeah. 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 And then what did you think at first? Well, I, I mean, I, I thought it was, well, at first, you know, we, we were just so happy, you know, with our brokers. Like a lot of people are just like, I'm good, I'm good. But, you know, we were just at the top of our, our uh, office and really nobody to really push us. We couldn't get any new ideas and um, they didn't offer a lot of stuff for us training wise and in, uh, in the areas that we wanted to grow in. So it just made a lot of sense. That's awesome. Well, let's tell the world a little bit about where are you guys? Because I think you're unbelievable what you managed to pull off in Absolutely. three and a half years. Three years. Um, so That's crazy. you've been in the industry for three and a half years, correct? Mm -hmm. But you started in a brand new area. When did yep. you guys move to Arizona? So we oh, were born and raised in Michigan. We born, we moved here to Arizona seven years ago, 2014. And then you didn't get licensed until mm -hmm. 2016. Yeah. 20, 20, 20, 2016 you got licensed, right? No, 2017 I 2017 you got licensed. We moved 2019 there in 2014. you were licensed. Got my license 2019. Okay. I spent 20 years in the classroom as a teacher. And, and 17 uh, years as a counselor. Yeah. Taking care of him. That's perfect. <laughs> That's perfect. Well, that, those counseling skills are yes. going to yes. come, yes. 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 come to great use yes. in yes. the real estate industry. That's why I feel like I, in any given day, I'm a therapist or a punching bag, like somewhere yeah. right there in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, so you got licensed and you did real estate how long without, without Matt? Two years. Two years. Mm -hmm. So tell me about your first year of real estate. How many transactions you did? Did twenty eight. Wow. Twenty eight transactions in her first year. That's insane. <laughs> That's insane. Mm -hmm. How about your second year? Um, forty seven. I want to somewhere around forty something. Yep. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And then right around that time, you got licensed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you started right away. You got licensed, or you just leave it a little. No, time? at first he was like putting up my signs and doing yeah. open houses. And this last. 12 months. This last year, up. yeah, just got, I don't know, more used to it, more comfortable. And you got the rhythm of he it? Saw, yeah. He saw the paycheck. He's yeah. like, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I could do more of this. Right. Yeah, I was just helping her out a lot. Um, and in order to help, technically, you have to be licensed. So we're like, you know, let's do this the right way. Let me get licensed and I can help out do open houses and so on. And then, uh, yeah, just kind of went from there. That's awesome. So you're to date. How many transactions you guys have under contract? 48. 48 you're to date. And, then goal is and it's just us. I don't have a transaction coordinator, a virtual system, none of we are, it. We are oh, changing. Wow. Yes. No, we are changing. Because then I can blow up. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> we are I have changing none of it. a lot of those things. 
Um, so the one thing I guess I'm good at is systems and thank God I have the right people in places because I could not do what I do without Christy. And three years ago you said to me at Starbucks, first you got to get a transaction coordinator. If you'd spend more time doing what you like, you could make more money. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't listen then either. Hopefully she listen. So listen. Hopefully you listen this time. But I got, to, I got to 48 without it. Yeah. I mean, at that point my head would be spinning. I don't know how you still get it done. That's so, so that's amazing. So I guess. Let's, let, let me ask you these questions though, because you had it so good with your at your previous brokerage mm -hmm. that, so most people when they make the switch or they make any change, it's usually for a better financial mm -hmm. situation. And in your case, the numbers, because we have an ICON program, the numbers mm -hmm. do make sense. Uh, but can you tell a little bit about like the kind of cap and the cut that you had prior and you still made the switch over? Yeah, so we as a husband and wife team, but not really a team, it's just the two of us, um, we only had, we kept out at 5,700 together, joint. And then we got full commission after that. And then you came over from 5,700 to a $16,000 cap yes. individually. So yes. Yeah. Yes. Because it still makes sense. So guys, we have a program that's called an ICON program. Because of the amount of transaction they do and the price range that they are in, how many transactions do you think it would take you to cap at 2.7 million? At the sixteen, you know, we cap at the sixteen thousand. Yeah, by the two point seven. It takes. Volume. We counted it was four and a half. Four and a half wow. transactions. So it takes them four and a half transactions to go from an eighty twenty split to a hundred percent. Right. So that's four and a half transactions. The first five transactions, mm -hmm. you're capped. You're done. You are at a hundred percent for the rest of the year. They already had fifty transactions, so it's duh. It's a no brainer. Twenty transactions after capping. So in in her case, twenty four and a half transactions. And you are an icon agent, which, which means two, listing, two, one, yeah. two away from if we were there all year, because yeah. we're at forty-eight. Right. You could have both icon if you were with us all year. Right. Six months. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, in just six months. I'll probably cap in two weeks here. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. Just because we have some pending. So what does that mean when you when you hit icon go? That means they each going to get their cap back in company stock. So yeah, the fee at the other brokerage was so low, but even when it's a low fee you're still not getting it back. In the end of the year, they're still not sitting in your retirement account. Yes. So when the numbers make sense is it, with producers or the agents that are planning on becoming producers, is that this is the only brokerage that I know of that mm -hmm. says, if you're a rock star, if you deserve that, you earn your cap back. So the way I look at it, even if it's a penny, even if our those stocks are worth each a penny when we retire, right. you have 16,000 pennies, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, to be like, Okay, that's, that's something I would have not had if I stayed at another broker doing the same exact thing. Right. So is there anything else that was, because I know the ICAM program was a huge decision-making factor, but was there anything else that you really loved about EXP that was like, yeah, I don't have that here and we should? Well, a couple of things we wanted to, I feel like, well, obviously we get a little tired when we're doing, you know, 50 to 100 transactions yeah. solo. Yeah. Um, so we wanted to build a team, but I didn't want the responsibility of the team. So I wanted to be able to help people at you know, my own pace, that but not me. be responsible for anybody. Yeah. Um, so that allowed me that opportunity. So I don't have to like do everything for a person from scratch, because if yeah. I do that, then I take away from what I'm doing and then right. I can't make more money. Yeah. yeah, so that was me too. I always, when I got into the industry and I, you know, hindsight is 2020, looking back 11 years, I always say I would do it differently. I would have joined the team just so I could soak up the information and then take that knowledge and you know get successful faster. Right. I just had too much of an ego and I would have rather died. <laughs> yes. Oh, I, was, I no, wanted I to go on my own pennies. I didn't want to yeah. do my pennies I'm like, I cannot give my transaction. I will make a name for myself in this industry or I will die trying. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly what I did. But knowing what I know today, I would go back and, and join a team for the first six months to a year. But because I didn't, I felt like, you know, having a team team where I'm responsible for them, when I'm taking a cut, that I'm going against exactly everything that I that I stood for right. early on in my career. Right. So here at EXP, you get to literally have a local team if mm -hmm. you want. Right. And that those are the agents that, like our local team now, it's just the four of us, Joy, myself, Christy, and Clancy. Um, Clancy does all of our transactions. Those are the organic transactions that we organically generate and we mm -hmm. literally just feed it all to her to do the transactions. Um, but I've never wanted, just as you said, like when Dwayne joined, actually, I was kind of pushing him, let's start a team, let's, mm -hmm. you know, let's rent a space and have a, our own little team here and slash bro brokerage with an EXP and then, you know, turn it into one day a mega icon team and Dwayne looked at me and he goes, hold on, I didn't leave corporate America to start another nine to five. Yeah, right. And yeah. I was like, 
What a good point. Mm -hmm. Like if there's other ways that you can make money, why to create yourself a job? Yeah. 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 And I think when you get big too, like as we got bigger and bigger and they're like, when are you going to start your own brokerage? When are you going to open? I'm like, I don't, I don't want to pay for it. I don't want to go to work yeah. every day. Nine right. to five. I, right. I like to stay home and do stuff. I like yeah. to sit on my phone and do, I like to travel and I like to do, like, I don't want yeah. to report to an office and I don't want someone to have to man that office. And, and I don't exactly. want to have to wear exactly. real clothes. Yeah, no, I don't want to. <laughs> as, you, as you can see, we are sitting in our comfies getting work done. Because um, they entertained us all night. <laughs> all night. <laughs> for two <laughs> days. <laughs> we did. But then, so we are, we, I actually just played a song for Matt. What was it? I'm, I'm not, not, not as good as I once was. <laughs> <laughs> we are finding out today that we did party last night, that we are not as young as we think we are. Yeah. No. Um, so today it's a little bit of a slower day. We all in our comfies. We're still getting stuff done, but... Actually, why don't you show your shirt? Yeah, exactly. It's what does it say? Shirt. The Pork Chop Express? Because <laughs> <laughs> I told him, I'm like, hey, let's just shoot a quick little video. He goes, what, in my Pork Chop Express? I'm like, I mean, I mean, come, you're all in our company. Yes. But this is the best way because we get to have our cake and eat it too. Mm -hmm. You know, we yeah. get to make more money in right. multiple different ways, but not lose yourself in the making, not yeah. lose the way you like to do life. Yeah. And, and, you know, like the fact that you're here with your children in, in Michigan and, and they get to spend time with their cousins and yeah. grandpa, grandma, and then you're working in the meantime. Mm -hmm. And it is a business expense because now you get to you literally have business partnership with all of these agents nationwide and internationally. And it's just, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Are you guys excited? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, I think another thing that we were really attracted to is that we found that like even in our own office that um, sometimes clients, or not clients, uh, other, other real other agents it kind of was cutthroat yep. you know and very you know, competitive and very competitive and like yep. not people not want to help each other out and yep. stuff and you know we never took it that way because there's plenty to go around for everybody but uh um what we find with with exp is it's more like you know the better we do the better you do it's yep. all we help each other out camaraderie and then we also have access to go go and then yes. everybody above go go yeah yes. well exactly. and i'm so cheap exactly. i kept saying you can i get your boot camp and you're like uh if you pay oh, for join it my team. <laughs> and i was like i'm not paying for it <laughs> you're like then join my team i'm like not doing that either <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, it's like, this is what I do for a living. This is how we feed our family. So if I gave my course to, for free to everybody, then how, is, how am I feeding my family? But I was special. <laughs> <laughs> she is special though. You see, now we are business partners. Yes, now, exactly. Now you have me and everything I do for the rest of yes. our lives together for free. Yeah, yeah. which great. I recommend when you travel yeah. to go meet realtors. Because yeah. if I didn't reach, why would I, I just reach out to you like, hey, let's go get coffee and I can rent my trip off. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it'd be like this. Exactly. You just yeah. you just never know. Well, I'm so excited. And the best part is, guys, that even though we are business partners now, I don't ever take a cut from her. Like she's never gonna cut me as much as a penny. Uh -huh. I mean, like we don't owe each other anything. We become business partners, and the way EXP works, guys, you are publicly traded, Nasdaq traded company. You can look up our stocks. It's called EXPI. And so when they do better and they generate more business to the company, the value of the company goes up, which in return, hopefully the values of the stocks go up, which in return, we finally all have something to retire on. Because when you walked out of, you only been with one brokerage though, correct? Yes. Yeah. I've been with two prior to EXP. So I was with Keller, uh, with uh, Real Estate One for seven and a half years and then Keller for almost a year and then I came to EXP. So I've been a top producers at both of those brokerages. And when I walked out on the door, I mean, I could go and grab, I have, two boxes of glass trophies and plaques that I can't send my kid to college. Mm -hmm. I can't send, you know, I can't pay my mortgage off. We couldn't build a house in Florida and glass plaques. So now looking back, now I have stocks. Now mm -hmm. I have literally ownership in the company that I work for. And the better you do, the more ownership you get, the more ownership I get. Right. And one day, hopefully those stocks are worth something. So you and me, when we retire, we're like, we can yeah. look back and be like, this is yeah. what we built yeah. in yes. the last 20 years by spending you know, like I spent seven and a half years of my life, which at that time was a third of my life, right. with the company, and I had nothing to show for when I walked out of the door. Yeah, right. agree. Besides the caps and the fees and the things, and I was left with a cute little commission. Mm -hmm. yep. You know what I mean? But nothing, like no retirement, no health insurance, no benefits, no nothing, absolutely right. nothing. Yeah. And I think it's important, like like he's, or like we've said, and I had not, nothing wrong with my no. brokerage. I love them. That was the probably the number one reason it took me so long, because yeah. I had an attachment to those people but i think the beauty of a good broker is like with us is the door is always open and yeah. they you know helped us out of the way it wasn't and, easy yeah and i think you know we li we listen to brian buffini a lot right like everybody does but he always says don't get comfortable and when you're comfortable 
that's bad. Yeah. yeah. You know, like we're comfortable yeah. right here, but if we sat in this couch forever, eventually we'd be sore and aching and, yeah. you know, so we were comfortable at our, our brokerage, but that's not where you grow. You don't exactly. grow when you're comfortable. Yeah. Right. But I truly believe too, that everything's a stepping stone. Like I'll never regret going there. Right. Cause if sure. I didn't go there, I wouldn't be here. Absolutely. Right. And they, they helped a lot. I mean, I had I no reason to leave real yeah. estate whenever. I was the baby. I had an amazing cut, amazing yeah. cafe that I had an office yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. You almost did. as big as this half of the basement yeah. here um window office i literally could come and go yeah. as i please i mean they had my yeah. back no matter what happened yeah. um i had no financial reason and i had yeah. no emotional reason to leave yeah. right. the only reason i left is because i was becoming the bigger fish in the in a small little pond and i'm yeah. like i can't grow that i have grown the pond there's nowhere for me yeah. to go yeah. and by that time i had probably about 30 some thousand followers on instagram and most of them were agent mm -hmm. and i would take my phone, the phone calls all the time because I love this industry. I want right. everybody to get a chance in real estate. Mm -hmm. I understand the 20 rule, right. but I still want everybody to get a chance and see if you cut out for this, okay, good. Uh, it's not my place to judge. Like, I don't think it's good for you. Like, go get license, figure, you know, figure it out. But I would make these recommendations and I couldn't recommend them to Real Estate One because Real Estate One at the time was just a state company mm -hmm. and all of these agents would be all over the country. Mm -hmm. So I'm spending time, you know, talking to agents and then sending them to all of these brokerages yeah. But which took away time from production, yeah, yeah. which took away money from my from our family. Yeah. But I didn't have a way to make money, and I yeah. enjoy doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, so then I went to Keller for that reason for profit share. But again, you don't know what you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Like everything is a stepping stone. You get to a certain point, and then another door opens. You're like, oh, I didn't even know yeah. this existed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you look into that, and then another um, door opens. And and I feel like as you're growing in the real estate industry or any anything in life, right. you yeah. just get to know more. And mm -hmm. then you realize, oh, I didn't know that. And then you start researching that. And when you're researching that, you find something else out and you just keep, yep. you know, it's a snowball effect. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But knowing what I know today, looking back at all of the other brokerages, it's not, you know, I'm not holding anything against either of those brokerages. That used to be standard for right. tens and tens and tens and yep. tens of yep. years in the industry. Mm -hmm. yep. And usually the one that in, in, interrupts, interrupts an industry, disrupts, disrupts, disrupts an industry. Thank you for translating. Usually, mm -hmm. People stand back and watch it for a while. Right. Right? Oh, yeah. And I was that agent that yeah, I yeah. stood back and watched it because I had someone reach out to me three years before I switched. Right. <laughs> oh, that's what <laughs> oh happened. Oh my gosh, I just talked about that. She Karma. took three okay. years. She Karma. took three years to come switch okay. over. Oh my gosh, I just realized that. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Um, that so is somebody funny. talked to me about that, but it was so different. Yeah. And I was like, no, like I have a good wire. Well, and it was Look much at, newer then. Yeah. yeah, and it was much newer then. Yeah. We only had. By the time I finally switched, which was three years after I talked to the first person, mm -hmm. we only had 16,000 agents. Wow. Even right. then it was very right. new. Yeah. And it was three years after I talked to the first person. So I don't even know how many agents you must have had then, maybe like five, 6,000 right. nationwide. So it was like not no. known at all. Yeah. But today yeah. we are officially over 55,000 agents. And um, you also brought your buyer's agent over. Yes. So that is yep. your first team member mm -hmm. yeah. without and being a team without being a team right. yeah so what we call that here is uh, we, i like to call it an organization or our team gogo like i call my uh, team gogo which our international family you're going to right. give a name to your own team you know maybe mm -hmm. whatever what do you think your team's gonna be called i don't know team toby team i toby. think it sounds tiffany. good team tiffany tiffany team team tiffany yeah i love it hey, you so know, that's the cool thing that we all get to now build um inside of each of these organizations. So when you choose a sponsor, because you have to, you can't join the company without choosing a sponsor, um, you automatically get kind of like the seven for the price of one. So when, when Tiffany- So it's joined, like getting a coach. You're getting yeah. like a coach for the price of- Who also of had a coach, who had a coach, who had a coach, who yes. had a coach, who yeah. had a coach. <laughs> Which was one of the number one reasons seven. I did that and, yeah. did, and, and chose you, because I was like, I could learn so much for her. So if I just go under her, then I can learn. Yeah, everything and that's knows. how and that's how I felt. Like I chose my upline, what we call here at EXP, because they were literally the sharks, mm -hmm. and I was Nemo, and I wanted to swish, swim with the sharks. Yeah, I wanted to take my little fish out of a pond and put it into an ocean. Yes, you know, and then start swimming with the bass because mm -hmm. you know, like even with our local trainings and stuff, the way EXP is different is. But with my experience from previous you know brokerage relationships is that we got trainings from the best locally. 
Yeah. Who was best in the office? Yeah. Who was best for social yeah. media? Who was yeah. best for? Well, that person must have had like, or maybe had like, I don't know, five thousand followers because, but they were the best in that office. Right. You know I mean, so I'm like, hold on a minute, no, 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 I want to learn from the best, like the best in the industry. Right. And at EXP, when you teach in university, you have to be the top one percenter. So you literally learn from the absolute best nationwide and internationally. And the way I look at information is like, if I can learn from the one who's been there, done that, yeah. and all I need to know is just implement what they're telling me because it's a proven way. Yeah. Like why, yeah. why, 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 why invent it? Yeah, yeah, like don't spend any time. Just go literally and copy and paste mm -hmm. into your life. Yeah. Right. When I think the beauty of with EXP is like you, I, I spent a lot of time with people like, I walked to me, you became so successful so fast. What are you doing? You, as my, our lender always says, you gave them the playbook and then they take it and compete with me yeah we're here I'm more than happy to share the playbook Absolutely. if you want to join the team or join yeah. the, the yeah, environment with me, yeah. the organization yeah. with me because otherwise you're not I'm spending a lot of money and somebody else making money yeah yep. you know exactly and here we are literally incentivized to help each other grow that's right. yeah. and that's my favorite thing and, and incentivized from the company not from the agent because yes. the agents that are in your organization, nobody's ever going to give you a penny. Right. I'm never going to give my upline a penny. I right. don't need it. That's not how it's set up. The way it's set up, guys, just so if you're watching this, for you to understand, um, our cap is 16,000 nationwide and our cut is 80-20 for everybody nationwide. When you are, when the agent is closing on a transaction and they're paying in that 20% to the company, they're keeping 80 and they're going and running all the way to the bank, depositing it, they are happy. The 20% that they pay to the company, like let's say I'm going to use Tiffany as an example, okay? So when Tiffany closes a transaction, she actually named Dwayne as um, her sponsor and Dwayne named me as his sponsor. I named Kurt and it goes on and on and on. So when Tiffany closes on a transaction, she's going to pay 20% on the transaction to EXP. Well, EXP says, hey, Gogo, thank you so much for bringing Stephanie, uh, Stephanie, Tiffany <laughs> to the company. Um, if it wasn't for me, she would have never joined actually Dwayne in this case, then Dwayne gets three and a half percent. Well, the company says, hold on a minute, because if it wasn't for Gogo bringing Dwayne, who brought Tiffany, that would have never happened. We each get a cut of that 20% that's paid in from Tiffany to the company. So that's the cut that you're already paying to your brokerage. It's maybe even more than what you're paying because most brokerages are more than an 80-20 split. It's usually 70-30, 75-25, 60-40, 50-50, whatever you are paying, here it's 80-20, so it's less, it's a 16,000 cap, but you have a chance to earn it back. But that 20% that you pay in, it goes back to the agents that help the company grow. Yeah. So if you want to bring your friend, good. If you don't, don't. I mean, you don't have to bring a single agent to the company, but if you want to work with the people right. that you are already talking to and hanging out with and seeing all the time, why not be business partners? Right, absolutely. And doing yeah. this yeah. mad business together. And we are in Michigan and they are in Arizona. Yeah. And we can do it like this is that was the other thing. Yeah, and we can do it in 16 different countries right now yes. So how can they reach out to them? If they how can questions? so somebody that is watching this? Yes, and want to find out like okay hold on my brain. Minute. Like I can be business partners with Tiffany and that gives me business partnership with Gogo and Dwayne yeah. and Matt How can they yeah. do that? <laughs> Instagram Facebook phone number Google me yeah. <laughs> So you what, is your, yeah, what is your Instagram account? Tiffany collection of homes you After go. the Tiffany jewelry store. There you go. Tiffany Collections of Homes. I will also tag her in the video when I post it. And Matt, yours is? Uh, Topi Realtor. Topi Realtor. And Topi is spelled T-O-P-I-E. But I'm yes. going to tag them both. So please feel free to reach out to them. Um, you can also be husband and wife team at EXP or what we call a domestic partnership. You can have one cap and one cut when you do that. So both of you join separate and then they blend you into one agent um, when you can prove it with the marriage certificate. And then you only have one cap, one cut, one set of fees and right there that loan will save you a lot of money as Which well. Which only I can. Yeah. 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 But they and we're competitive, so I want two. So that's not an option in this <laughs> yeah. case. They want two icons, so they ended up joining separately because because of their production, they can each icon because they each easily. do so many easily. They each do so many transactions. Yeah. So yeah. Um, so in their case, it, it absolutely makes sense to join separately because they can now have two icon, icon rewards. So you have the option. You can look at your own numbers and your own goals and see what you want to do and how many transactions you do in a year. And if the numbers make sense, you can join separate. Or if you want to do this whole thing together with your spouse, then you can join together and become as one agent, one cap, one cut. You can also have multiple state licenses yes. and only one cap and one cut. So you could have a license in Michigan, yes. fly up here, do transactions, do some down in, yep. in Arizona and have one cap and one cut and all of your transactions, no matter which state the transaction comes from, go, goes towards that one icon. Yep. 
Awesome. We're excited. Yeah, we can't wait. So Thank we, you. Thanks for hosting us. Absolutely. So we have like two, three more days of this. Yes. Onboarding. So the onboarding process, guys, it's really not that hard. But here's the thing, though. They are well established. Plus, they have a ton of active transactions yes. and a ton of pending transactions that they're coming over with. Like you literally have what two closings on two Monday? Two closings on Monday that we're pushing through to get transferred right now. So. We're ready for Monday, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And you don't so have that's to the, come here, but it yeah. was e it's easier because we were coming here anyway. We so we're like, here. let's just make it a joint trip. You can onboard from anywhere yeah. in the world. Yeah. yeah. So most of our yes. agents onboard via Zoom. So we have Christy will sit down with you and we'll do a two, three hour onboarding call. We'll make sure all of your apps are downloaded and, and uh, you know, your uh, websites are bookmarked and you know how to log in and message the broker and you know how to upload your transactions and pretty much all of the team Google benefits and the Google's boot camps and everything that we do here, we can absolutely do it online, but they are from Michigan originally. They were coming up here anyway. Yeah. So we are doing this in person and uh, we have three more days of this. Yes, and it's been we're, exciting. It's been helpful. And you're not, I was worried like, because all the virtual stuff, I was going to get, oh yeah, to me, join my da da da, whatever, and then go out in the virtual world, and I like support. Yeah. No. So that was how you were like, no, I will not throw you out in the sea. I promise I will give you all the support. We'll help you transfer every yeah. single thing over. And we have, we have, have VAs in the group. We have, you know, Christy, who's always going to be here with me. Christy, correct? Always. Come say hi. Come say hi. You're not going anywhere, correct? I'm not going anywhere. No. <laughs> I'll be here forever. Whatever. So Christy Hobbs says she's been with me for seven years now. Um, originally, we just started out as an agent and I needed help with transactions. So that's how she started with it. Now she has me run multiple businesses and she's oversees Team GoGo um, and make sure that everybody's taken care of. And then she has an assistant who also is about to have an assistant. Yeah. <laughs> how, many people have, how many people have you onboarded? Oh, geez. Hundreds. At least 300 I've probably onboarded. Wow. Yeah. yeah personally it helps many others so yeah yeah and they kind of have to understand that there's no perfect time to make a switch no mm -hmm. you're always yeah. going to have transactions if you're thinking about well well let me just get these two clothes and then i'll think about doing it that's that's and not, it's like i said you guys made it easy that's because i was literally panicked how many times did we all talk last week i'm like i don't know i should not i'll wait blah, blah, blah. like it's i was panicked yeah, yeah, but it, it all worked out. I, I, for me, I think it was great that I was here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, but, if you think about it, like most of the time, like, oh, I'll just wait until I don't have transactions. Yes. <laughs> okay, hold on a minute. You've been a top producer. Mm -hmm. Where was the time in the yeah. last month or t three years, three and a half years, you've been an agent that you didn't have transactions? Never, never. Yeah. never. never. So it's not, you're never going to have not have transactions. Right. And that yeah. was with me too. I was like, oh, I'll just wait until the river dries up. Well, it's, <laughs> it's, yeah, it not, dry it's not drying yeah. up. You know what I mean? So thank God. Thank uh -huh. God. Yes. Um, but yeah, so there was never a good time. It's just you do it and then you'll figure it out and you build everything. And it is a little painful for, you know, I, I told you the first month 90 days it's going to be a your head's going to be spinning because it also gets so much more yes, yes there's yes. so many new systems and so many new facebook groups and so many new lead generation sources yeah. and so many new ways of doing business and so many new revenues of income right yeah. you know so now you have to figure out everything else because in the past you've been only doing commissions mm -hmm. now you have all of these other ways how you can make right. money the stocks and the revolution and all of those things so it's just different for the first 90 days where we definitely have the people in place right. and, and the and, systems yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and the systems yeah, and, I, and i take partnership very seriously you know mm -hmm. i don't i don't take it um for granted for every single agent that ever and you can ask anyone in team Google, mm -hmm. if my phone ever goes to voicemail i'll call you back within five minutes or as you're leaving your voicemail I'll text and you hear on the podcast i'll call you right back yeah. but that is yeah. my high like i love helping others and that's what i always wanted to do um for me the way i look at it now i'd rather help 600 agents sell one transactions than me having five to six transactions a month it yeah. just yeah. leaves a yeah. much bigger impact on the industry than me doing six transactions absolutely yeah. Yeah. which was sure. which used to be my average anywhere from four to six a month so i'd rather do that because that's where my legacy is that's right. where one day i can look back and be like wow like I helped all these mm -hmm. agents to build, you know, other people's legacies. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, thank you for being up here. Yeah, yes, thank you. thank you for having us. Thank, thank you for welcome, choosing welcome. us. Yeah, yeah sure. absolutely. Sure. Thanks. Thanks, Christy. You're the best. Bye, good yeah. High fives to all around. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. All right. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Reach out to them. You have to stop it, baby. <laughs> Push the button. <laughs> oh.